whatever you would like to hear. I think so I'm striving to be a starving artist. I'm sure you've all heard that phrase before. Art as a choice of like education is definitely a passion choice. You know, you know you're not going to make a lot of money usually. You know, it's not a career that people go into and say like, oh wow, that's really good. You're going to like, you know, be someone. Unless like you really strive to be someone. So that's why I'm going to be teaching you about the ADT in studio art. The studio art, you know, I'm going to pull across from this area now. The studio art, um, it's a good choice because Fullerton and Long, Cal State Long Beach are the two schools that give up the most degrees in studio art. It's something that you can transfer into other degrees and concentrations once you transfer into a higher division school. And if you want to continue your career like as an artist and learn and make connections, it's a good place to start. So I'll be teaching you how to get an ADT, the divisions you can transfer into, and work afterwards. So to transfer into an ADT for studio art, you need to have 60 transferable credits, as most transferable um, degrees need. So 24 of them need to be in your art concentration. 12 of them are art history, basic drawing, sculpture, and basic design. Those are the four basic ones that you need. Afterwards, 12 of them need to be in your selected choice, and you have a big option. So you have to do one art history class for sure, another one it could be Asian, American art, or another medieval to ancient, I think. And But after that, you have a choice of ceramics, painting, sculpture, video editing, um, photography, uh, specific design. So those are all huge choices, right? So the reason why you have all those choices and they're not all in the same kind of art is because of the Studio Art ADT. Once you transfer to Cal State Long Beach or to Fullerton College, Cal State Fullerton, you can go into a specific concentration of the art you want to study. So you just need nine credits. Each one of those classes was three, right? So one of those nine credits, once you transfer to Cal State Fullerton, which is I recommend because right now Cal State Long Beach is very impacted, you probably, you have to go in there knowing which class you want to transfer into or which one you want to major in. But once you go into Cal State Fullerton, you can go into specific concentrations such as photography, ceramics, sculpture, teaching, Mm, printmaking, photo editing, entertainment, graphics. You can go into all those things just with the ADT of studio art. You can go into specific coursework that you want to learn. So with that, those, that will be your upper division courses. And in the, what's it called, the Fullerton College website itself, it says that just going into this coursework, yes, you need it to become like a gallery person. You need to take it to become a commercial artist, like higher like credentials, yeah, you need the bachelors to do that. But it also shows to like other art companies that you have the dedication to learn that and to take those courses and like actually study what you want to study. Because in the art world, you really don't need a degree if you want to get somewhere. You have to be able to show what you can do, and you have to be able to have a portfolio that looks good, and you really don't need a degree for that. But by doing that, you show companies and studios that you have what it takes to commit to a project and finish it. So, but if you do finish with a bachelor's in fine arts, anything that you really want to, you will, the Data USA says that the roughly rough average for pricing, or not pricing, for salary is about 56K which is pretty good, you know, it's like a livable wage. And those are mostly teachers and studio artists, designers. Those are like the main like statistic that they gave me for like jobs you can get afterwards. But when on Data, on Data USA, the fourth option was like food retail or like retail management, you know? So people who do get that degree Either they strive very hard, work very hard to become something, or they end up like, you know, in the regular workforce. So I think doing studio art is a very hard choice. You have to be able to work very hard at it, and there's only like a 3.4% growth rate in that job field. So that's why I say I want to be a 
starving artist. Like, I'm going to work hard to do what I want to do. And that's why I think you should also, because with that degree, you know, it's a lot of hard work, but art is like a passion. It's a passion. You do it because you want to do it, because there's nothing else you want to do. And that's why I think the Studio Art AET is the perfect beginning to transfer into what you want to do, learn all different kinds of art until you find your concentration and go out into the real world and make yourself something. That's it.